Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm continuing my Disney movie marathon. So yep, because I still have quite a few things to talk about, yes siree. It'll be another top 10 list, folks. So, I've been working quite hard on this sort of video. Oh boy, it's still all night. Yes, yes I did. I, I should be going to bed by now, but I'm going to upload this video just for you guys to watch it, I suppose. Because I'm dedicated like that. Yes, sir. So anyway, as I was saying, this is going to be our top 10 list for uh, top 10 good Disney flicks that bombed. This list will not be in any particular order. That can be from any genre and from any director and the year that they were released is not going to be specific either as long as they were good movies that bombed for whatever reason or financial failures it would make it on this list it can be animation or live action or, or a mixture of the two but it just, it just has to be a good movie that for whatever reason just bombed on the box office so with that being said let's get into it shall we so here we go. Yes, sir. Making a number 10 is Return to Oz. Not to be confused to be like a direct sequel to the other Oz film. This is his own separate thing. Dorothy discovers that she is back in the Wizard of Oz, so to speak, the land of Oz, and she finds the Yellow Brick Road is not in rubble. Yeah, for some reason, people didn't really click on this film at all. While this film did receive some good reviews, it just didn't click, financially speaking. So, yeah, the critics actually praised this film for having some creepy images and whatnot, so there's not a lot of people seen this film when it was originally released. Making it at number 9 is Treasure Planet. So this film centers around the idea of the legend of Lord of a Thousand Words. It inspires this individual hunter when the character Jim just stumbles across this map, so to speak. So okay, a typical adventure movie with some star to it. You'd think that'd be good enough for a movie. Nope, unfortunately, when it comes to the modern era of Disney, I guess it's surprising that people didn't really appreciate it at the time and it just basically flopped at the box office. I've seen this film before and it was actually quite good so I don't know. Making at number 8 is Tomorrowland starring George Clooney. You'd think that would have been good enough for this film to be success but nope. There was this former boy genius and gifted teenager that set out on a dangerous mission to unearth the secrets of Tomorrowland, so to speak. But that seems like a pretty promising idea for a story. But the thing is that the plot itself wasn't too bad, but the star power, of course, was here, folks. Unfortunately, the critics thought it never got around telling a good story, which it did, actually. So I guess it wasn't enough for the critics. At number 7 is the Black Cauldron, where we get to see that there's this young individual character. He must embark on a journey with this young lady here. So, yeah, this is often considered to be a box of this flop. And, it, yeah, it was a, a surprise disaster, unfortunately. And some people did enjoy this film, so some people did give some positive reviews. But, you just couldn't really get a favor from the overall audience unfortunately I've seen this before folks and it's, it was actually quite good if you ask me it's really underrated Solo a star story which centers around the character of the young Han Solo as he goes through this certain journey as pretty adventurous and you could just see how he became the person he became later on while this film, financially speaking, was nowhere near as disastrous as some of the other films have brought up, however, the unfortunate truth is that this film did get some bad reviews, even though even though the film was actually not that bad of a movie. 
and some backlash from the fans and it was nowhere near as a financial hit as the previous three Star Wars films that they made. So I'll say check this film out folks because it's actually pretty good. Make it number five is the original Fantasia. Yes, that Fantasia, you heard me right folks. Yeah, this film was released in 1940. It blends you know, so, some style of animation and tons of still story with Mickey Mouse. So, yeah, this film is often considered to be one of Disney's greatest animated films of all time. However, that didn't save the movie from becoming a box office bomb at the time. So, unfortunately, for whatever reason, it didn't click with audiences at the time, so it didn't make that much money at first. So, let's say check it out. Making it and number four is this film with Christian Bell. Again, with a high ranking actress, was not good enough to save this film. So, yeah, there was, it centers around this musical that centers around the, this individual that befriends two new accomplices to his trade. So, yeah, one of the few musicals that Disney made was basically a flop, pretty much. It didn't really resonate with the critics for whatever reason. And because it could have been the advertisement or something, but just the uh, audience just didn't really care for this film all that much when it was originally released, but I still thought it was a good movie. Making it number three is Dumbo. Yep, shockingly love this film, folks. Which is a story about this elephant that goes through struggles of his own little life because of his big ears. So yeah, this film really did not do it well, unfortunately. It was poorly timed, I guess you can say, because when the Pearl Harbor attack that came around, it really overshadowed Dumbo, this film. So nobody really went to see this film when it came around. So unfortunately, because of real life events, it just stopped people from... This is a good movie, folks, I'll say that. At number two is Living Beauty, which focuses upon this princess, whom at birth was taken away, and it's like a curse kind of a thing going on, because of the other villain type character. Yeah, surprisingly enough, this film makes it on this list, and it was actually one of the most expensive films at the time for Disney. So it cost about six million dollars to make, which made it to be one of the most expensive films at the time. However, it received mixed critical response and under delivered at the box office. So it made less than its budget back in the movie theaters. So, ouch. Making at number one is Alice Wonderland, the Dizzy's animated version. So, this story tells a plot of a little girl going into Wonderland. And let's just say it's pretty crazy. So yeah, at the time, this film wasn't really well received, and there's a whole legacy where this film is supposedly about drugs, which doesn't help matters. So there's a huge backlash in this film that was so bad that Disney himself, when he was alive, had to actually publicly apologize for such failures. And yeah, this was definitely one of the biggest failures he ever had at the time, unfortunately. So that'll be it for my list, folks. I know there was plenty of other movies I could have mentioned, of course, animated or otherwise. Just tells you the truth that even if it's well written, even if it's well made, even with the best intentions, it still won't make a lot of money. Yeah, it's basically a gamble. The movie industry is basically that, folks, when you think about it. It's a gamble. It's basically just a playing a gambling kind of a game. It's a big risk. It's a business. At the end of the day, it's just a business, regardless of the studio that's making that money. So, that's the hardcore reality of the situation. Even if the film is good, it's not going to make a lot of money. But well, that's a risk there, folks, sadly. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time.